Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. How to read rebar. Uh, the reinforcing steel, better known as rebar, these bars, like any other type of uh, construction material, comes in different sizes. These sizes can be determined depending on the unit uh, of dimensions that you're using. For example, we use the uh, English here in the United States. Uh, you can also use the metric, which we're going to see later in this video. And you can also have a designation in European. The first one that we're going to go over is the Imperial or English system. Uh, in the United States, we determine the size of the rebar by using the simple numbers. For example, you can call it number 4 bar, number 6 bar, and number 8. Uh, these numbers call the size of the bar by using a very simple formula like you can see in the picture right now. Uh, all you do is you grab the number of the bar and you divide it by 8. So for example, you have a number 4 bar divided by 8 equals half. And therefore you have a half inch diameter rebar. Uh, subsequently you will have a uh, number 6 bar and you divide it by 8. And you'll have a 3 quarter diameter rebar. The next way to determine the size of the rebar is by using a metric system. If you look at a piece of rebar, they will have several markings that will uh, show you the uh, ribs, the producing mill, the bar size, the type of steel, and etc. We're going to concentrate on the middle number, which is the bar size. As you can see, the bar size showed on the rebar is actually on a metric system. To convert this number, it's a very simple formula you have to do. Grab the number of the rebar, uh, we're going to use 25 as an example, and subtract 1 and divide it by 3. So as you can see on the picture here, if you had a number 25 rebar, minus 1 will be 24 divided by 3 equals 8. Number 8 bar divided by 8 using the English system will give you a 1 inch piece of rebar. Well, I hope this video helps. Uh, if you have more questions or you want to learn more tips, please visit learningconstruction.org. Thank you.